this is Tom with Fresh Vintage. Today we're checking out our ThinkDag 2. It's a great little unit we're going to check out right now. It has uh, the ability to read codes, clear code, actual data graphing. If you look at the back here, it actually has bi-directional control as well, so you can actuate like your windshield wipers and stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and open it up right now. what's inside here so there's actually a really nice case in here and I'm just gonna do this real quick okay yeah let's see what's inside the case it's a really nice case okay so we have our usual paperwork and here is the Think Dag 2. Now what this thing is going to do is actually hook up to the car via the OBD2 port. And here is our actual OBD2 connector. I'm going to plug in the serial port on this end and then the OBD2 port. And as luck would have it, my uh, 2000 Jeep Cherokee check engine light just came on. So we're going to go ahead and use this to uh, scan it right now. So we're looking at the ThinkDag uh, paperwork here, and normally if you don't open paperwork, you at least want to open this because you want to find the ThinkDag app. And this we found this on uh, the Android, the Google Play Store, and you can see it downloading on the right-hand side of the screen. But now that we're in here, we're actually trying to activate and connect this unit to the software, the actual app. And it's asking for the serial number and activation code, which you can find in your paperwork. So if you're normally not the person that uh, will open paperwork, at least open it and take a look at this and your serial number and activation code are right here. We're going to go ahead and plug this in and then get these connected. And then we're going to go out to the Jeep and uh, check the, the check engine light and see what kind of codes are in there. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our ThinkDag 2. And the OBD2 so you'll see this on the right hand side of the screen as well and I clicked OBD2 functions and I'm plugging it into the port here and this comes alive and so it actually connected and we're just waiting for it to load on the right hand side of the screen here software started Okay, so right now it's actually going through, and you can see on the right-hand side of the screen here, it auto-detected the VIN. For this purpose of the video, we're doing a 2016 uh, for Super Forester. And so I'm going to click Enter here. And let's go ahead and read any fault codes to see if there's any fault codes. This car does not have the check engine light on. so Okay, so no fault codes there. And let's go ahead and... Check the I am readiness. So it says ready status of current driving period. So it has data streams. So let's turn the car on. We'll see what happens here. So we're recording, on the right hand side of the screen, we're actually recording various things, the uh, fuel system, the catalyst and whatnot. And I'm going to stop recording here in about two seconds, so we'll do that. And let's see what the report does here. Okay, so looking at this, we actually have a inspection report that says uh, looks like everything's on the up and up here and it's still generating a PDF so if you were to use this in, in a uh, shop situation you could actually hand this and show this to a customer and say here's what we found or everything looks good you passed inspection and whatnot with this you can also do reading of live data and there's a bunch of different options here on the right hand side of the screen. I want to pick something kind of low hanging fruit, engine cooled temperature and engine oil temperature. And we'll do engine RPM because it's right here. So we'll click OK. And there's our coolant temperature, oil temperature and engine RPM. So I'm going to start the car. There we go. So now we're at uh, 1700, 1690 or so, 136 degrees. 
coolant temperature and 120 degrees oil temperature. And you can see that the engine coolant and the oil temperature are both slowly going up. And if we wanted to record, you can see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it's also gives you the ability to record if you were trying to chase some kind of electrical issue or some kind of diagnostic issue with the vehicle. We're in our 2000 Jeep Cherokee here and looking at the diagnostics here, there's a bunch of different options that you can choose for different vehicles. We actually went in and found the Jeep and if you go into, just as some side commentary, if you go into OBD2 or OBD functions here, you will not find an actual uh, just connected, just beeped and connected. You're not going to find Jeep or Dodge or Plymouth. You will find Chrysler. However, there's no ability to actually search uh, for Jeep under just generic OBD2. So with that, this is actually going through the ISO, the different systems. These are different flavors of the, the internal car systems like scanning uh, systems and uh, you know check engine light systems in the different manufacturers use. All that being said, the very bottom one, the Jeep is built on the ISO 9141-2, so you'll see it fail through the rest of these and then get to the, uh, the bottom one and it will actually uh, connect. It's connecting right now. The reason I mention all of this is there's another health report we can do in a second here. Like you can see that this actually says data trouble codes, but it won't actually let you read them in here. So going back to the main menu here, there's an all systems diagnostic and we actually found Jeep in here. So we downloaded Jeep right here on the right hand side of the screen. Apparently it's hot. Uh, so we're going to connect to the Jeep here and we already have the ignition on and it just connected, you heard the beep. And we're going to speed the right hand side of the screen up because this diagnostic scan will probably take five or 10 minutes, give or take. But we just cho chose the 16 pin connector, we chose Jeep. This is a 2000 model and do that. It's a Cherokee. And we're just gonna do a health report. We wanna see what's going on with the Jeep here. The key is already on, so we're gonna hit okay. And like I said, what you're seeing now is actually, I think we sped it up like 10 or 20 times speed because it's, you'll see the clock in the top left hand corner there just running and running and running. Um, but it'll go through each of the modules inside the vehicle and actually just do a total top to bottom system health report. So we'll go ahead and let this finish running here and we'll be back in just a second. And here's the finished uh, health report here. We have what well, looks like six data trouble codes. Okay, so cylinder misfires and EVAP and more EVAP. So it looks like I actually have some kind of vacuum leak going on here. So I'll definitely take a look at that. Um, also, we have transmission control module normal, uh, the airbags, instrument cluster, everything else seems to be okay. So it's uh, just a misfire here. So I'm gonna definitely have to look into that because there's a couple misfires going on there. And let's go back to, let's see what special function has here. So we, this thing does not actually have ABS, so we're not going to be bleeding. But this says key programming. We actually don't have any keys to program, but that is a potential option from what I see in here. I'm not sure the federal government wants us doing any instrument odometer correction, so we'll leave that one alone. And with that, we'll go back and see what else is in here. Let's do system selection. Okay, so we have a bunch of different options in here. And you can see how much stuff this actual uh, ThinkDiag 2 will do and gives you a very small taste of all the different features. This would definitely be a good unit for a garage or a, you know, a DIYer who's gonna take the next step and do more than just like reading codes. We're actually gonna use this to diagnose and live graph. And so after a little bit more investigation, we were able to find, if you watch the right hand side of the screen, you'll see uh, we're actually gonna go in and find the live data streaming. And with that, we're gonna reconnect to the Jeep here. And it just beeps, so it's connecting. And what you're looking for is system scan in here. And we're gonna choose 16 pin connector. And we're gonna choose Jeep. Go to 2000, Cherokee. 
and we're going to go to system selection right here on the right hand side and what I actually just went into was the PCM so right up at the top here it's going to communicate with the PCM and then it'll give you various options and the options we found actually says live data streaming so we're going to wait for this to load here and then we're going to give that a try All right, here we go. And if you look about halfway down, it actually says read data stream. So let's go through and we'll just find some various things. We'll kind of get the more obvious ones. I think I saw engine RPM or something like that in here. So we'll take a look. And there's engine RPM. Engine coolant temp degree, we'll choose that one. Let's see if we can find one more here. And, ooh, Spark Advance, that sounds like fun. Let's try that one. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. And the engine's off, but we'll go ahead and start it. Okay, so here's our actual uh, live data. And I'm curious what this little drop down arrow is here. Okay, so it actually gives you various you know, functions if you wanted to do something different than RPM. And let's go in and actually graph the data here. And you can actually see it here. I'm gonna give it a little rev. There we go. And we'll go back just to check the uh, temperature of the engine. And I don't know that revving it would do much good, but give it a little gas, we'll see if it goes up at all. 118 degrees. Yeah, so you can actually, uh, you can do a lot of live data graphing in here. I mean, you can see everything on the right-hand side of the screen. We're not gonna go through all these and click, but uh, there's, a, there's a ton of stuff in here. Okay, so to wrap things up here, the ThinkDag 2, great unit, a nice compact small unit. If you're a DIYer looking to take it to the next level, the live uh, data graphing, you know, reading your car, check engine light, clearing the code if you want to. Um, if you're a shop and you're looking to, for a handy little tool, a compact thing that you can just grab and take into a car really quick to scan, this is a great tool. Definitely small, about the size of a stick of deodorant. And with that, you just put it right in the case here. If you happen to end up on the side of the road, the car stops running, boom, you got this in your trunk. If you have a big uh, glove box in your glove box or under your seat, and uh, you can scan on the go and, and figure out what happened to the car, why it stopped running. But uh, overall, definitely recommend it. And uh, if you like muscle cars, if you like classic cars, you like JDM, if you like Chevelles and Chargers and Mustangs and all the other cars, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.